Shalom, Yasha Allah. I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is who the world only calls Jesus Christ's name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And the Heavenly Father made us Israelites, okay? which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, whose seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and also you confusion of face Israelites that is scattered abroad that look like the heathen, but whose spirit, right, whose spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, okay, which their spirit cleaves uh, to the Holy Scriptures and, and, and with all truth and sincerity. Okay, we are the chosen people above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. So that right there, which makes uh, uh, everyone is made equal and that and, you know, what uh, Esau pushes out through the world and that everyone is made the same. That's off. Okay, that's not according to the scriptures. That's not according to according to the Bible. Okay, because there is no such thing as thing as being equal because the heavenly father had made us. The Israelites to be the chosen people, to be the holy people above all you other nations. Okay? You natural Gentiles, you heathens. So let's get the scripture. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 verse 6, it says, For thou art an, are an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father has chosen the Israelites. Okay? To be what? To be the chosen people. You see? To be a special people unto himself above all the people upon the face of the earth. And that's beautiful. So we being the Israelites, like I said, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, Native and Seminole Indians. We're above all these other people. We're above all these other nations. And that's why we're supposed to conduct ourselves uh, in a holy manner as saints. Okay? How do we know how to conduct ourselves, how to guide ourselves, and, and and try to live righteously, right? The Holy Scriptures, okay, the Bible. Hey, that's what made us separate from the nations as well, because what? Hey, this was our, our wisdom in the sight of the nations. You see? Hey, this, 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 this book, the Scriptures, the Holy Scriptures, hey, they were our guide. Okay, they were a guide how to live righteously, how to govern the earth righteously, right? How to govern the people righteously. Hey, hey, even uh, knowing uh, how to deal uh, with land. You see? But the point is, we're above all the people that are upon the face of the earth, and we're not equal to none. You see? Hey, and this is deemed by the Heavenly Father. Okay, but now you'll have a lot of people say, well, we all have the same blood, <laughs> you know, or we all come from Adam. Yeah, that's true, but there's still a chosen people out of out of Adam. You see, there, there always has been a chosen people and the Lord's chosen people are the Israelites. Okay, and even looking at it uh, through a spiritual sense back then, there was always a chosen land and they were called what? The sons of God. And what are the Israelites called today? And in the Hebrew, we're called what? Yasha Allah, which is what? He, Yah, He, Shor, Prince, Allah, Power. Princes, we're the princes of the power, okay? Hey, in which, uh, if you know anything, going back into a little bit of history, our forefather Jacob, which is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of the Israel, hey, his name got changed to Israel, okay? After he wrestled with the angel. You see, so we are the princes of the power, okay? And we, we are the holy people above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. You see? Let's get a... Uh, uh, I gotta go to this, this Bible. So let's go to uh, the second edge of the sixth chapter because, hey, people like to make these statements. Oh, yeah, we all come from Adam. We all have the same blood. We're equal. Hey, not deemed by the Heavenly Father. That's not true. And we'll cut that right uh, right now with this precept. 
second Ezra's the sixth chapter verse verse fifty four says and after these and after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures of whom come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen you see so look yeah we all do come from Adam but what else and the people also whom thou hast chosen who has the Lord chosen the Israelites okay and let's read further down in Deuteronomy 7 before I go back to Second Ezra. Uh, so it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he will keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have the Lord brought you out of out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of, e king of Egypt. Now then he deliver the Israelites from the Egyptians. When, when he saw who our forefather Moses entered to the Pharaoh and said, what? Let my people go. And by the Lord's uh, miraculous uh, works and wonders, he, he, he broke the Israelites out of Egypt. Okay? And, and he hardened the Pharaoh's heart to what? So he could show his great power. You see? But the point is what? He redeemed us out of the house of bondmen. Egypt. Which means bondage. Okay? So now you got a little bit of understanding of who these people was talking about. Because he didn't deliver no other nation uh, out of Egypt. But the Israelites. No one else came with him. Alright, so let's go back to the second address, uh, the sixth chapter, uh, 54th verse. So it says, And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of, of him come we all, and the, cho and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the world was made for us, the Israelites. You see, our sakes. As for the other people which also come from Adam, thou hast said they are nothing. So we can't be all equal if the other people that come from Adam are nothing. But the other people, uh, Israel, were the chosen people. That's not equal. You see? It says, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Hey, so if you got a whole bucket full of water, and, and you know... You carry it and you drop a little drop out of it. You don't stop to try to pick up that drop. You keep it moving because it's it's nothing, you know. It's worthless, just like you, just like you heathens. Okay, verse fifty-seven it says, "And now, O Lord, behold these heathen, which are all you other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing. You see, you 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 other nations, uh, um, was never reputed as nothing." Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, you know. So all you other nations begin to what? Be a, uh, uh, Salaki are able to what? Rule over us through the different captivities and, and are devouring the Israelites, man. Okay, hey, even you see today how Jake is getting shot down in the middle of the street, unarmed, right? Our young women are going in police custody and, and be assaulted, molested, right? Hey, we're, we're being devoured, uh, not just by the sword of Esau, you know, but also what? His food, his philosophies, you see? Hey, his, his whole system, man. Verse 58, it says, But we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, the only begotten and thy forever and lover, are given into their hands. Hey, from our ways that we were doing, man. Hey, because our history, we was into... Uh, heavy idolatry, wicked, you know, wickedness, sin, defiling the temple, all these different things. So the Lord has given us into their hands for this point of time. But this time is almost over because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? And it means the end of age. And we're coming to that time where Israel's is rising to be on top. Uh, and we're going to be ruling in the kingdom. Verse 59, it says, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? 
Hey, yo, and this is Edra's speaking. You know, he's asking like, Lord, if the world was made for our sakes, why don't we uh, possess an inheritance with the world, you know? Why don't we have nothing uh, to gain from this world as, as we speak, you know? Why are we at the bottom? We don't have nothing. How long should this door this endure? So Ezra is asking, well, how long should this endure uh, that we don't have nothing with this world? You know that we're on that we're on the bottom, that we're being shamed and uh, reproached. You know, hey, and, and and it's enduring until what Esau, uh, aka the so-called white man, is being brought down. That's how long it's going to endure until this last captivity is over. Like I said, Jacob, I mean Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of of it that follow. Hey, but. You know, I just wanted to go into these two scriptures just, you know, to show you and prove you that, hey, we're not all made equal, man. The Heavenly Father didn't make it that way. Make it that way. He made the Israelites to be his chosen. He made the Israelites to be on top, okay, of all you other heathens. Hey, in, in, in the true men of the Lord, we're not compromising for nobody, okay, because we know we're the greatest people. We know uh, uh, we are the best people, like the Lord has made us. Okay, hey, that's why we're able to dominate in any activity, uh, sport, or or whatever it may be. This is why the Israelites dominated. Okay, because we are the salt of the earth. We are the chosen people. Okay, let's get. Uh, I'll close up with Deuteronomy thirty-two, um, and I'll start at. Eight, it says, when the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. And that's also cut because people don't think the Lord's about separation, which he is. Okay, there is no unity, y'all come together, spirit not happening. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, you see. So the Lord's portion is his people, and his people are the Israelites, okay? The people he chose, the special people unto himself, a people that are above all the other nations. You see? Above all the other nations. So, hey, man, you know, that's just the, uh, a quick lesson to show you that everyone is not equal. The Most High said so.